Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your ongoing support and everything that you've done for the channel. I absolutely love reading on this platform. I never even dreamed I'd be doing this. So it's always the things that we don't architect that are some of the best things that come into our lives. So I thank you very much. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new things, new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. You could check other parts of your chart. Now, Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So one week there's a, a pick a card reading or a different kind of oracle card reading. I do a love reading on Mondays. I also do more detailed Celtic cross style readings on Mondays. Um, but I, I keep in mind that tarot is sacred divination. So readings are timeless. If an older reading catches your attention, I'd say watch it. What you're seeking is also seeking you. And if you like the channel and you like tarot, I'd love to, to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Pisces, please. Okay, so we'll begin here with a tarot reading. Then we'll have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading too. All right, we've got the Eight of Swords. Interesting, the Eight of Wands. Death. Two of Pentacles. Strength. The Six of Wands. The Four of Swords and the Sun. Well, you're definitely moving on from something that's felt very restricted. Or if you've had a breakup, I do see somebody coming back around. There's going to be communication. Even if it's just to put you both on flat ground to finish some unfinished emotional business. Because something with that eight and eight, that's an interesting um, combination because eights are about vibration. So the eight of swords is more in that low vibrational on the um, vibrational emotional scale, on that lower half of the scale. The eight of wands is on the upper half. That's moving. It's swift change. So you definitely, with um, the energies that are here, we've got Leo here, by the way. We've got Scorpio here. We've definitely got fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, air, and earth. So I definitely see you as moving on. And maybe it's something, too, where you need to finish something old to go into the new. But it's a beautiful energy with that six of wands, eight of wands, and the sun. So with the eight of swords here, may have been a situation... Um, there's a bit of uh, people pleasing here, feeling guilty about moving forward with something, but I do see you breaking free and doing it. Um, so you might have a bit of a committee meeting going on in your head. That's what this is all about. It's too much thinking. Eckhart Tolle talks about the great addiction to thinking. I've read The Power of Now multiple times. I've certainly watched a lot of his videos. I'd love to go see him live. Drop me a comment if you've ever seen him, but he hosts a lot of events throughout the year. I think that'd be a, he would be an interesting one to listen to. But either way, with this, it's um, self-imposed. I mean, you can walk free anytime, but the water in front of her represents guilt. And so if there's something that you felt guilty about, I'd say let yourself off the hook, Pisces. Turn off that ass-kicking machine. Okay, you've got one life to live while you're here, and we might as well do it. And so with this, here you go. Talk about moving forward. The Eight of Wands is communication, but it is definitely braced for change. It's This is swift, moving energy. And so whatever you've asked for, here you get it. You know, sometimes that can be scary too because we don't realize that that the universe isn't going to del deliver things exactly how we've asked. It just delivers it. So we can ask for, for a lot of money and all of a sudden a relationship ends and then we realize, oh God, they weren't compatible. One of them had to go and it was the relationship I hated. But I wasn't asking for that, right? But with this Eight of Wands, it is the arrows of love in the tarot. So if you've been, again, if you got somebody in the past that you had a bad break with, it either is a recommitment to them or it's it's dealing with it so that you can both move forward. Because you've got a really, you've got a lot of, you've got positive attention coming in. If it was a job too that you were connected with, that was just not really what you wanted. This can also be moving forward. It's that 
it's that energy of, you know, they get the phone call and it's, can you start tomorrow kind of energy. So with death, we get a new life. You've got a brand new beginning here and it leaves behind the past. So, so all those guilty feelings, you walk right over the wreckage of the past. This death card, the um, skeleton represents your higher self telling you to let go. Whatever it is, just let go of it. Let go, let the universe. It's let go or be dragged in some cases. But with this too, you'll notice in the backdrop, you've got this pool of consciousness, a tiny little boat that heads towards the sunrise because you've got a brand new beginning here. There's a new dawn of a new day waiting for you, Pisces, and it brings in a new life. We must die to be reborn, right? Jesus said that. Eckhart totally talks a lot about that too. And um, so it's a rebirth for you. It's bringing in something, a renewal, something that's beautiful, especially if you felt like things were stagnant. Here's your renewal right here. So the Two of Pentacles shows up. Now, what I like about the Two of Pentacles is that gigantic infinity symbol. You do have two infinity symbols here, ancient Gnostic symbols. And um, the, um, the infinity symbol represents eternal life in the material world, okay? So it's like you've got this power to bring in financial increases, bring in stability, bring in fun in this case. It is kind of a busy energy, but I do feel like you're, the choices you have are positive. This is not you know, picking one thing you hate that's, you hate it less than the other thing, right? It's like you're bringing in new opportunities. I mean, you look at that infinity symbol and it's almost the same size as the character. That's important. And so with this, you've got the strength card here and the strength card is overcoming any obstacles. It's really knowing your true life force, knowing again with that infinity symbol that you're being divinely guided. The universe is you. You are not, the universe is not inside of you. It is you. You are this universal power, this creative consciousness, this universal consciousness. There's nothing off limits for you. And you are in a place now where you're really assuming that power. And so you may find too that you are getting a facility for finessing situations. In a love situation too though, I do feel like whatever you're bringing in, there's a lot of compromise here. And that doesn't mean acquiescing and just giving up our power and saying, okay, fine, you're right. It really is about both sides meeting in the middle. And so I feel like you've got something here that brings in healing. There's a healing energy here. There's an understanding and it really is seeing things through the eyes of source. Meditate, quiet your mind, get back to center. You've got it here with the four of wands because that's going to be the key to it all. So with the six of wands, you've got victory, success, moving forward, getting lots of positive attention. So again, with that eight of wands there, this can be that new job where you see an increase. It can be praise at work. It can be recognition in a lot of different ways, but it's all positive. So in a relationship too, you may have somebody who really values you, or if you are reconciling, I do feel like whatever time has been apart, it brings in a renewal where this person understands what they lost. They really do value this relationship. So if it's a new relationship or somebody reconciling, I do feel like the commitment is true. It's real. It's authentic. And this is something that grows. And so the four of swords is an important energy here um, because it's taking that break, right? It's giving up. There, there's no fight here. There's releasing all resistance here with the four of swords. Now the swords too do represent um, um, seeking the truth. And it's one of those cards from each, each card we have growth, right? And so it gives you that time to reflect upon your life and whoever you're attracting, they've had it too. Um, but I do feel like it's like really getting back to center on what really matters in your life. And it's also too taking some time for yourself. It's a very calming card. It's just kind of letting things be, gaining strength, hanging up those swords, not being in any kind of conflict or any low vibrational stuff. It always reminds me too of knock and the door will open, ask and it is given. And oh, here's what you're given, right? When we start to talk about what am I getting? Well, how about gains and riches? High vibration is the sun. The sun is a card of regeneration too. So after that four of, or yeah, four of swords, when the sun comes in, there's your regeneration or your renewal. And so 
It is a high vibrational energy. Those wavy rays in the sun indicate high vibration. It's synergy. So you're attracting people that are going to be a match to you with this. Um, it's also, too, an awareness of self and acceptance. It's attaining goals. It's a time of achievement in your life and success. But it radiates pure positivity. This is a beautiful energy where, honestly, you feel really good about yourself here, too. You feel like you're right in, in, the, in exactly the right place. And so um, it's, it's an energy of true joy. And so we like this for you. So with that, I do feel like any changes for you are bringing in happiness, success. They're bringing in love. And, and it's letting go of something that I feel like has been hanging on for a while. Some kind of an energy there that has been, in a way, plaguing you. That's what I hear, plaguing you. So... see what the angel answers have to say for Pisces. Whoops. I like to get those middle cards. God, these are sticking. There we go. Otherwise, we get the same card every time, and that gets a little old. So, well, you've got if you believe. So, it really is about your belief that the universe is working with you. You are a co-creator with this universe. Your energy and the universe's energy are one. And so as you think you become, you feel you become, your thoughts become things. So know that what you ask for will be delivered. Again, it can be delivered in an interesting path, but it does come in. So you've got peaceful resolution. You know, the Eight of Swords is really the only card of restriction here. And the other cards definitely support change and moving forward. And you've got here, communicate clearly, because the universe always hears you. The universe feels your heart. Your mind can say one thing, but your heart whispers the truth. And the universe will hear that. You've got here, take action. So with this, it's really about moving forward, just quieting the mind, and then taking that inspired action. And they say, don't stop, Pisces, because you are on the right track. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.